Thank you for purchasing your FuelScan 450 fuel management system. You'll discover that this is the finest fuel monitoring system available for piston engines. This video will walk you through the operation of the FuelScan 450 and answer the most common questions about the instrument. Think of your FuelScan 450 as your personal flight engineer. Always there, working in the background, constantly monitoring your fuel consumption while you concentrate on flying the aircraft. The JPI Fuel Scan 450 features a dual display, always showing your fuel flow rate on the upper display and other parameters on the bottom. Every Fuel Scan 450 will interface with your panel mount or handheld GPS. There are no extra options to purchase. All the features described in this video are standard. The FuelScan 450 is advisory only and is not approved as a primary instrument. The FuelScan 450 relies on a very reliable fuel flow sensor. This sensor is mounted in the fuel line prior to the fuel distributor or carburetor and measures the actual fuel flowing through the line. Inside the sensor is a turbine wheel that rotates at a rate proportional to the instantaneous amount of fuel passing through it. The rotating turbine interrupts a light beam and an optical sensor counts the pulses of the interrupted beam. A microprocessor in the FuelScan 450 counts the pulses and converts the count to fuel flow. The FuelScan 450 will also track the total fuel used and the fuel remaining. But remember, always base your fuel calculations on the known amount of fuel in the tank. No fuel measuring instrument is a substitute for a thorough pre-flight check. The pilot in command must always verify the amount of fuel in the aircraft before takeoff. Let's jump in and see how the FuelScan 450 works. The FuelScan 450 displays up to six fuel-related parameters. Some parameters will be available only if you connect the FuelScan 450 to your GPS. The upper display always shows your current fuel flow rate in the selected units. You may select gallons, liters, or pounds as the fuel units. Normally, the FuelScan 450 will automatically index through all the parameters. The small indicator lights at the bottom of the display tell you which parameter is being shown on the lower digital display. If you tap the Step button, you can manually step through each parameter. Fuel used how much fuel has been used since you last refueled. This number will always become larger as fuel is consumed. You can instead show the fuel used on a long multi-fuel stop flight and we will see later in this video how to do that. You can reset the fuel used display to zero by holding the auto button for a few seconds until the used display is set to zero. Fuel remaining. How much total fuel remains in the aircraft? The FuelScan 450 does not differentiate between fuel in various tanks. Only total fuel remaining in the aircraft is calculated. Hours and minutes remaining. Based on the current fuel flow rate displays the remaining endurance time. This parameter is most meaningful during cruise. During sea level climb, the fuel flow rate will be almost twice that of cruise and the endurance indication will be about half of actual. On the other hand, during a power reduction descent, the endurance will indicate more time than is actually available when flying at cruise power. Fuel required to next waypoint. This parameter will be displayed only if your fuel scan 450 is receiving flight data from your GPS. This will tell you how much fuel is required to get to the next waypoint or destination programmed on your GPS based on your current fuel flow rate and present position. Fuel reserve when you arrive at your next waypoint. This parameter will be displayed only if your fuel scan 450 is receiving flight data from your GPS. This will tell you how much fuel reserve you can expect when you arrive at your next waypoint or destination programmed on your GPS at the current fuel flow rate. Distance per fuel units. 
both the required and the reserved indicator lights will be on at the same time. This parameter will be displayed only if your fuel scan 450 is receiving flight data from your GPS. It will tell you your miles per fuel unit such as miles per gallon, miles per liter, or miles per pound. It is based on your current ground speed and current fuel flow rate. To return to the automatic scan, just tap the Auto button. The Fuel Scan 450 will begin scanning. That's all there is to using the Fuel Scan 450 during flight. You have complete control of the display. If there is a low fuel or low time alarm, the scan will stop and the indicator light will flash. To acknowledge the alarm, tap the Step button and the scan will resume. We will now look at what to do at initial engine start. The two most likely scenarios are either you top the tanks before startup or you didn't. In either case, you will tell the Fuel Scan 450 what the fuel status is. Upon power up, the Fuel Scan 450 runs through a quick self test. Next, the Fuel Scan 450 will ask you if you fueled the aircraft. It flashes Fill No. If you didn't fill the aircraft or change the amount of fuel, tap step. That's all you have to do. If you did fuel the aircraft, tap auto. The display will show the full tank capacity. You will program this amount into the instrument once when you first set up your fuel scan 450 and we will show you how to do that later in this video. To accept this amount for full tanks, tap step. If you added or removed fuel from the aircraft, tap auto twice. You will see fill add. Tap Step. You will now tell the Fuel Scan 450 how much fuel you added or removed from the aircraft. If you hold the Auto button, the amount shown will count up. It will not count any higher than would normally fill the tanks. If you remove fuel, tap the Auto button repeatedly and the fuel amount shown will count down. When you're done, tap Step. If your aircraft has auxiliary tanks or fuel tabs, you can program two possible fill levels. The first tap of the auto button will show the lower fill level. Tapping the auto button again will show the higher fill level. Tap step when you have selected the amount of fuel in the aircraft. What if you forgot to tell the fuel scan 450 that you added fuel and you are now airborne? Even later in the flight, you can still tell the Fuel Scan 450 about added fuel. The Fuel Scan 450 is smart enough to retroactively calculate the fuel consumed from engine start. This is the only instrument on the market where you can do this. Hold both the Step and Auto buttons simultaneously for a few seconds until you see the words Program Mode for a second and then Fuel No. Tap the Auto button to change the display to Fuel Yes. Tap Step and now proceed as before. 